Hey guys, Leslie with the Majestic Party Rental here with another tutorial for you. So today we're doing a stand-free, no helium ice cream cone. Um, so guys, I have already pre-inflated everything. Today we're gonna start off by using um, 11 inch balloons. I inflated them at nine inches, eight inches, seven inches, and six inches. As I go, I will explain a little bit of what is per size. I also already pre-made some of my sprinkles. I will show you how to get those done. As well, I already have a pre-made garland and I also will explain and we are inflating those at 4.5. I have also inflated our topper, so we're ready to go, guys. Of course, we're gonna start off with our water balloon weight. Because we are using no stand, I do have a quad that will be our base on the bottom. I'm gonna add our weight to that. So this will be our weight guys. We're going to start off with a six inch quad. What we will be using for this, I will be using a 260 to make sure that everything gets put together. So I'm going to tie this together. our six inch quad and we're just wrapping around the balloons just to make sure that they're all secure we're going to do another quad of six inch and you kind of want to fit it in there very snug as you can see they, they're, it's like a puzzle it already goes in automatically let me back this up so you can get a better view of this. We're going now with a quad of seven inches. Again, we're wrapping just to make sure our balloons go in there properly. One more quad of seven inches. As you can see, we started small and we're getting bigger to create the cone. These will be our eight inch quads. And the reason why you wanna make them different sizes is because you want it to start opening up to make it look like an actual cone. One more set of the eight inch. So as you can see, it's starting to get bigger as you get to the top. One set nine inch. And as you can see, this guy will get pretty big. We're just wrapping. One more set of our nine inch. We're going to go ahead and tie our 260 to the top of our last quad and then just to secure it a little bit we're just going to wrap it around our quads and release it i have already like i mentioned earlier pre-inflated our topper this is a three footer I have a 260 attached to it, which we will attach to the top of this. We're just gonna adjust, make sure that everything is in there properly. So now our topper, you're gonna open it, you're gonna fit it in there. You're just gonna go on the top quad and you're gonna tie it. And if you wanna go under just to make it a little bit snug, you can go to the quad below that. And then you just wanna tie your 260 on the top. I like to double knot just to make sure it's on there and let it go. And so this is what it should look like right now. And then we're just gonna adjust. So it already looks pretty good as you can see. Now I have my mini garland, as you can see. And we are going to attach this
I have two 60s on the ends of each, and we're just gonna wrap this around. And you're just gonna tie them together in the back. Make sure they shut very closely to each other. And we're just tying it. And we're adjusting, making sure everything looks pretty good here in the front. Just, just, just. Adjusting. As you can see, we already have our ice cream. Here's a trick I like to use, guys. I like to use Elmer's rubber cement glue just to make this easier for me. So again, I'm using a 260 and a 160 for my sprinkles. How do we get the sprinkles going without spending so much on material? So I'm gonna split this into three pieces. You wanna kinda get it to the same size. If you don't get it to the same uh, size, doesn't matter. Now we're gonna cut. You're gonna end up with two pieces that are open from both ends. How do you fix that? Easy. You're gonna tie one end. See? And it should look like that. Using your hand pump, you're just gonna fill it in here. And I just do one pump. You don't need more. You could if you wanted to. And then you just, one. You end up with a sprinkle tie it, cut your excess, and there's a sprinkle. My solution, you can use a glue gun, you can use glue dots. I just like to rub on my rubber cement, and it's that easy. And again, See how easy it is with this, guys? Not everyone likes to use the rubber cement. I'm a fan of it. And as you can see, I do have different sizes just to make it look a little bit cooler. And as you can see, I'm pretty short, so if you're taller, this would be a lot easier for you. And so we're just adding our sprinkles and you wanna spread them all the way around. And again, I have different sizes. You do want to add some in the back as well. You don't just want to add them in the front. And that's pretty much it, guys. You want to add some more here. You know what? Let's add them. Let's add them. I have them. Let's make this look cool. See, we just need like maybe one more here. And there it is guys, that simple. Hope you enjoy guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.